Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmaso at thewatchbox.com. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see here on our channel, our website, or our social media. Reach out to me directly, tmaso at thewatchbox.com. Today, we are discussing a 42mm white gold piece unique, one of one, from collaborative watchmaker Maitre du Temps, as the name implies, Masters of Time, collaborations between great watchmakers yields each of their models. And this is the Chapter 3, originally launched in 2012, a collaboration between Kari Voudelainen and Andreas Streller, both AHCI luminaries and among the best in the business. The aesthetic and the finish is Kari. The hidden complication is Andreas. Now let's talk a little bit about dimensions first, then we'll delve deeply into this watch. 42 millimeters in diameter, the watch is reasonably thin at 14 millimeters thick. From lug to lug, 50 millimeters with a 22 millimeter spacing between the lugs, so it features Kari characteristic quasi-vintage style, but with that broad spacing between the lugs, it has a nice modern stance on the wrist. Now, you can see, though it's broad at 50 millimeters lug to lug, there is curvature to the case. The lugs wrap sharply down with a sculpted curve that allows it to hug the wrist. So, even though my wrist is 16 centimeters circumference, I think a wrist smaller than this, perhaps the smallest 14 centimeters circumference, could wear this watch comfortably. Now, let's take a look at the strap, the hardware and the software, as I like to say. The strap is large rectangular scale alligator leather, semi-gloss, it's navy blue with a monotone stitch, and you can see it has a broad but folded side. You cannot see the layers of construction. This is a more thoroughly finished strap and thickly bolstered to give it body and volume. You can see this is a brand new Maitre du Temple factory strap, calf skin on the bottom, and you'll note the use of curved spring bars to allow the lugs to be drilled close to the case. So though it's 50 millimeters lug to lug, the pivot point of the strap is actually quite a bit narrower than that. And with the curvature, you have an all of a piece close coupled look, so there's very little daylight between strap and case. Taking a quick look at the pin buckle, you can see that it features a number of facets. It's mostly of high polish with the exception of the end, which is satin finished. And it is a substantial pin buckle in white gold. Also, you can see it is branded. The case is fluid, it's handsome, it's lithe. Though 14 millimeters thick, it looks considerably thinner because you can see the case back is stepped in rather dramatically. The light does wonderful things across this white gold surface, creating a flame-like impression of action as you move it through the ambient light. There is a concave bezel that is designed to further pair the apparent mass of the watch. You can see there is a geometric facet outboard of the crown, which reminds you of Maitre du Temple, as that is a motif of the company, that geometric faceted form. It is just one, and there is a button here that decouples the two time zones so you can set them independently. Now, this is no mean chapter three. The model, was launched in 2012, but what you see here is a pared down version. It doesn't have the date, it doesn't have the small seconds. It features the remnants of the moon phase, featuring nothing so much as the signature of the artist who created this miniature painting. Now this dial is a one-off commissioned through Andre Martinez of Le Loque, Switzerland. Now, he was born in Spain, but he was trained in Switzerland, and he resides and works in Le Loque. So what he has reproduced here in miniature is Jasper John's figure eight, 1959. So if you're into modern art, into pop art, into craft arts, and you want a truly handmade watch, front and back, that's what you get here. Now, the watch still retains its underlying complication, which is a dual time functionality, and Martinez has painted the barrels as well. So every aspect of this watch's color and character has been customized. You could see, and I'm going to pull the crown out all the way, as I adjust the time, now they're moving in sync, we adjust from the day to the night. So there's two 12-hour barrels down at the base of the dial. And you could see that as we cross a certain threshold, the barrels jump back and forth in order, and you could see the eight itself, has been specially lacquered because of the figure eight subject matter of the watch. But you can see how we transition tonight. And because we have a 24 hour format second time zone, we have both of those barrels 
with the jump taking place automatically when the watch is advancing under its own power. Now, if I want to decouple these two so I can set one time zone without setting the other, I press the trigger over at nine o'clock, and that allows me to set my time zones independently and use this as a travel watch or business watch. It should be mentioned that the complication is the product of Andrea Streller. You can see the carry in the style of the watch, and you will see it in the movement, but Streller's specialty is hidden complications, and thus not only does this complication hide itself under shutters, but you'll note that the shutters actually draw flush with the dial when they return into position, and they withdraw under the dial when you display the second time zone. So they move in two dimensions, side to side, yes, but also up and down. There is a quick set that you can engage that allows you to, if I could find the intermediate setting position, there is a quick set that allows you to set the time on the moon face, and that would advance the artist's signature. So although it no longer works as a moon face properly, it still has the 29 and a half day period of a moon face transition. You will gradually see the artist's signature and it will gradually disappear. Now on the case back, SCH03. So you have a movement that is manual wind designed principally by Kerry Voudelain and his architecture for the bridges as well as standards of finishing inform this design. All this is water resistant to 30 meters, it beats away at 21,600 vibrations per hour, you will note it is a free sprung architecture for durability and it uses an overcoil hairspring so that it keeps excellent time. The hairspring breathes concentrically in every position with respect to gravity. The reason it's only a 36 hour power reserve is because of the power intensive complication. Jumping those barrels takes a good deal of energy. The finishing is impeccable. There's a nice sharp interior angle where two bevels meet right around the center wheel. The Cote de Genève are rich, lustrous, and luminous. The Glage is mirrored, perfectly rounded, and traditional, not executed mechanically, and all of the screw heads feature black polish on their tops with chamfering of their slots and circumference. Of course, you can also see this 39 jewel movement features a silk screen set of signatures for Kerry Voudelainen and Andrea Streller, as they are literally the masters of time who created this watch. This is a timepiece of rare beauty, not just because it's a piece unique, but because this is an act of miniature painting on an already exquisitely handmade and hand finished watch. With only one made, you're never gonna see another. Email tmasa with thewatchbox.com to own what is effectively the easiest point of entry to carry Voodoo Lane and ownership on the market.